This is a How It's Going with Pastor Owen on March 6th, 2023. It's a Monday, and yesterday was our second Sunday of Lent, uh, where we got a word, uh, the interaction between Jesus Christ and Nicodemus, who was visiting at night, a word about being reborn or born from above, and uh, it was a fun interaction to to get a word from. There was some wonderful music. Uh, Courtney shared a solo uh, accompanied by Deanna and uh, a couple familiar terms. There was a wonky one, our hymn of the day. Sometimes you can throw a wonky, unfamiliar tune in there for hymn of the day. That one might have been too unfamiliar though. Oh well. Uh, But it was a, a wonderful worship service to share with all of you yesterday. And we look forward to the week ahead. So what's going on this week? Well, we have a midweek service. Wednesday night, the menu includes uh, pulled pork sandwiches and uh, dessert. There's some uh, sides as well. I can't remember what those are. But uh, you can't miss this. You really can't. Uh, The word of that... uh, evening worship service, the short uh, fellowship hall worship service that we'll enjoy together is gospel, which is to be distinguished from the word last week, which was on law. Um, so I, th- I think it's going to be a lot of fun uh, on Wednesday night once more. Hope you can make it. Uh, the upcoming Sunday, uh, the text is Jesus encountering at high noon in the middle of the day, a uh, woman at the well, a uh, Samaritan woman. S- uh, so it's an intriguing, uh, fascinating story uh, that that we get to um, have in our worship on Sunday. I was going to show you, uh, I shared a link by, on our weekly email if you're on that chain, and also uh, the QR code. Uh, right there in yesterday's bulletin leads to a resource that you can uh, kind of learn what we went over last Wednesday. So this particular module uh, or learning opportunity, we'll call it, uh, goes over law and what that means uh, when we use that kind of word. Um, There's, of course, a sense of the word that we hear in the court system, the judicial system, uh, but also a way that we hear that and encounter that in Scripture. So this is a a pretty slick tool where you can enter in your name and kind of go at these things at your own pace and... uh, enjoy some of the questions that lead into uh, this particular word. Um, There are other learning modules that I'm going to look forward to sharing with you. If you happen to use these or go through them, whether you were at last Wednesday's service or especially if you weren't and you're encountering these things not in a big group but on your own wherever it works and whenever it works for you, That's what this resource is made for. So there's some true or false questions. We did watch the two or three minute video uh, the other day. We also had a skit, not pictured as the skit. So you're going to have to come in person this time to to catch that. And maybe we can record future uh, performances from our kids and, and others. Uh, But yeah, just wanted to show you some of these uh, resources there. Um, Let me know if you don't know how to access those and really would like to. All right, looking ahead this week, today, I should mention, Clinton Becky. Happy anniversary to you. Uh, It's today, Monday. Uh, March 6th, they celebrate their wedding anniversary. Congratulations. A couple birthdays. Paul uh, has a birthday. Let's see, this would be Friday. And then Rudy has a birthday 
uh, on Sunday. So you might even see him on his birthday, uh, which is pretty cool. Happy birthday to both of you. Um, I'll leave you with a verse from Romans. This, is, this will be read as part of our New Testament passage on Sunday. Seems odd to start a chapter. Of course, Paul wasn't writing these, numbering his chapters. The, that has since been uh, put in there for our benefit so that we can kind of find our place in Scripture and not uh, have an entire scroll. Yeah, we can read these in a lot of ways now. And uh, we can mark these by number even. But yes, the first verse is, Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Believing that he is a giver, that he forgives your sins, results with peace. Peace with God is nothing to shake a stick at. That is, uh, that is marvelous. And may you live today uh, with that promise in your ear. Of course, we don't have peace exactly with fellow man all the time, with our own flesh, and certainly with the devil. In fact, when we're justified through faith, these things can often uh, cause even more trouble in this world. Yet we'll face that in faith, knowing what our end is, uh, that we are forgiven, that we are justified through faith. And that uh, leads us into this world where we can't help but love our neighbor and walk in faith and all of the peace that that brings. Uh, so may that peace be with you today.